welcome back to the scrap table. I just want to cry. <laughs> I film like almost done, right? I put these together in the film, talking so much about the issue that I have with this one because the fabric's so thick and uh, and. The power just went off and I lost everything. I thought it might save automatically to the hard drive. I see it's there, but it said the file corrupted. So I just want to cry. <laughs> so we're going to redo again. And uh, luckily I have about 10 of these <laughs> that I can keep doing. You can see like, um, well, I, what did I do? Like, um, I was talking about how, let's see, uh, I'll try to find this because, um, where is it? Sorry, I, I just like a little, a little upset. Um, this is what we did yesterday. I did add the pen loop and I didn't like it. Um, it just stick out. I, th I don't know. This is my OCD. This is bother me. <laughs> so I did the rest without pen loop. But um, I mean we can hook it up here if we want to. Like um, this is pocket here, right? So you can clip on like that if you want to keep your pen inside that way just I don't know I just didn't like these sticking out but anyway yeah and then I change these remember I said I didn't like the string that I have it on this one it just it's just slide like a slide easily um, on and off from here so but this is like really tight like it's not going anywhere so this uh, seam binding come from the Triple V Vintage that I have the opening. It's included in the butterfly bundle. So and uh, so I I take the whole thing apart, and I'm glad that it did. I did not ruin anything. <laughs> and then I glue this back down, and um, and it go into this dish disc this a wheel um, very nicely so that I like it much better you know and then it's just nice you can add bead or charms um, that have big hole but I like that much better so that and then I did this and then I have to redo again because <laughs> oh so bum like I was like just about to wrap up and then everything went black and I thought oh, okay I'll go down and just chill so I sat and had a drink with my husband outside and then the power came back um, but uh, just before dinner so um, I just quickly made him some salad and some corn and he barbecued some sausage and um, so I just have to make excuse to come up and look at the file and it was corrupted. Now I have to refilm. I'm going to try to remember what I did and say. <laughs> okay, the eyelet I use for uh, this one is very small. And I think I made sure I give um, it was four millimeter like almost half a centimeter and the length also like um, almost half a half a centimeter but it's still not going through so you might want to get hard to get these focus isn't it um, you might want to get a longer eyelid that it can go through all this thickness but I don't know what the size that would be right and then I poke this and we could thread this together and then I made the mistake on this one 
on the center and um, so I just have to deal with that but this one because it's so thick and hard and I have to use a thicker eyelid it doesn't look that great but I cannot get the smaller one through so I have to use this one this is like um, the 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 length is perfect because it went through this thickness and then it went through nicely and I add some washer at the back and it is it's about 0.8 um, centimeters and then the head is point yeah it's eight by eight eight by eight um, it's a little bit big but if you can get the f four I think it's a four no five point five millimeter um, one and if it's longer than 0.5 if you can get 0.5 times 0.7 or 0.8 that would be perfect uh, eyelid I got all of these from Aliexpress so they have no size no standard or so I cannot reference them but at Tim Holtz or or Dali Dali's I think is the brand here they might have the size that you can you can reference to but don't get too big one I just didn't like how it look but it made life easy though for the elastic to go through and what else did I oh and I I was talking about my crocodile no my big bite because of the crocodile the crocodile it will not punch the middle so you can't get through the middle no like you can get a hand one like a hand punch and hand eyelet set one that you use a hammer but I mean this is really helpful and I got these uh, as a second hand one because I want to because I have an um, the first hand one as well I have the brand a new one let me show you this one this is the new one I have and I want to uh, but it, did, it didn't work well for me because I want to put the when I put it in these right and then it's just odd that the bottom part is the the flat head one at the bottom part and then the pointy one is at the top so it's hard for me to to put it in this I have to put it in this way like that right I have to put in this way and I could not see the bottom where it is it's not easy to use with this one so I bought a second hand one and what I did <laughs> crazy me I took this off I took this part, the spin the rotation part, this part. I took it off and I switched it. I switched the bottom to the top, the top to the bottom. And now I have the pointy part at the bottom. So when I slice this in, let's see, let's say I, I have, I have these, right? And then I want to add the wash washer on top so it's easy for me to slide to slide in like that and then you can feel the click when when these hole go into the the pointy part I don't know does it does it make sense yeah now it's like you, you can you know exactly where you can push and that's what I did with this old one because I didn't want because I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not I don't want to rip apart my new one so I bought a second hand and test it out and it worked and and I only use these for the for that purpose so I put this setting and then I set the punch hole like um, a guideline for the center at uh, four 
inches and then I use one one eighth of an inch hole for the punch and this one I, I did I put um, the hole to three in uh, 316 and that's why it's not center for me so I'm pretty mad of myself kick myself in the butt so anyways that's how I use my tools <laughs> let's see um, le I'm gonna show you how I measure to poke to poke the hole and all that since because the eyelid is not a, a recognized by um, uh, via memory uh, so the size not precise and the tools gonna be tricky I know people like really hesitate to use the tool this thing but I think it's really good to have this one is good to have too for a small project and I start with this one then I realized when I do a lot of this in the past and I need to invest in this one and I did and then I, later on I realized this thing didn't work for me and then I got this one uh, just look for the second hand so if you don't use much so what I do I just try to find the corner dot and you just eyeball and then find this center dot just dot it to make sure you you know I like I said I don't like measuring things so I mean it's it's so tiny enough that you can eyeball this and then I make sure I will punch it at one eighth of an inch so I'm gonna slide this in against the mark I mean the the point here right so maybe some of you don't have these and um, not sure if it's good so let's see if I get in the middle I did so let's make the final punch there you get the punch and then not quite center <laughs> it go off on that side more oh well and then I just keep punching You do have to make the mark so that you know exactly where you can punch. That way it's, it's safer for you, right? To punch. See? And the hole is smaller than this eyelid. So here come my pokey tool. And this pokey tool is not um, the one that I usually use for binding because it gradually thicker thicker right so this is I think it's for leather um, so I would poke in and then it will expand hole for me and that way I get let's move this up and then I get this in and then I do use glossy accent to help because I just don't know um, if because it doesn't have enough I let to go on the other side and this is like almost done I put pin <laughs> here almost over this bottle it's been like to be honest this bottle is like two years or more that I have this bottle I don't use them a lot I only use for metal base and something that I want to give some extra hole oh, I made myself this not quite center so I just want to show you that what I meant not quite center but I um, just want to show you how I punch and I have the backing 
see you don't see mesh that it didn't really look like it came through right you see that little tiny there that doesn't look like it came through so I'm gonna put the washer on and I'm gonna try it there I could it click and then I make sure the washer is in the middle oops shoot almost ah don't forget to switch back to eyelid setting <clears throat> I almost punched another hole by mistake see see that um, it a little bit of grab to the washer at the back so which is good not not too bad not too bad there you get eyeless setting so I'm gonna do the rest of it and then we will and then I will show you just do one more time and then we will string string the elastic um, it's not easy to to switch the top the spinning part I don't know what you call it the, but it's 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 okay if you have the right tool it was it has a little spring so you have to get something and click on it and then get the spring to to loosen like push it on the side and um, you, it will pop out it will take me me a good couple hours to figure it out and put it back in and just make sure you don't oh I forgot the washer <laughs> oh well I hope it stay um, Make sure you do it on a nice surface. If you decide to do the same like I do, um, do in a big surface and do it in white background because that way if anything drop out, you see them right away. They are really small pieces. If you get your happy to do it, then um, I think they might know what they're doing. And okay, let's string these. Um, another thing that I add to this is the uh, jewelry finding. This one is a loop that has no gap, it's like infinity loop. Um, that way, you can click on, uh, you can add on later your, um, your charms or something. And I will do the closure first. The closure usually I do, I just don't measure, right? I just see like this, and then you want it tight, uh, and then you just cut in. Whoops, oh, my earbud. <laughs> and then I just put the, the string through these. This is for the closure, by the way and we will put through because it's a small eyelid it might need some forcing through with some pokey tool got so much glue in there you might push this up against Whoops! Against them um, uh, that way. That way, make the the uh, elastic skinnier, and then make more room for you to put the other one, th the other end through. So like that. Oh. <laughs> this is a nonsense. A nonsense. A nonsense. Nonsense. And then you can put through and then you can just tie the knot
I know it's, it's not easy but it can be done and really pull the knot tight cut it really close and put on your glue I put this on because it's fast drying but if you want to put glossy accent on that's good too but I think this should do because it dry really fast right the fabric tack so make sure you're not not gonna go anywhere Now you've got the closure and then you've got the, the finding that you want if you want. Uh, later on you can add charm here or you can move it back here and then you can add charm. Some beads or something. There. And then now we're going to string these. So last time I did, I start from the middle. This time I think I might start um, from the edge. You can pick one. So I think I'm going to pick pick this one. So go from inside out. In. Hmm. This is going to be trouble because the eyelid is small but it's nice. Oops. See the washer not staying on this one, but this one it does. Not sure why. I think the edge have thicker fabric. That's why. So we're gonna go through. I think that's the bottom inside. We're gonna use these to help through because I mean, if you want a smaller cord, you can, but I don't think it's um, strong enough. So you might have to keep trim off the tips, so you have nice clean tip to, to go through the eyelet. So you come out and then you go through here, and then you go down, go down center. I think and then if not I'll come back I, I haven't done the side one but I did the middle I start from middle so you come out on this end and then you go up on this one and in the middle you, you will have to use you have to go through twice on this middle so make sure you have the poker nearby and you make it through and then I think I may want to hold it like this you can adjust the tight the string and tight now you go through the middle again if you keep trying it's not that hard um, you keep trying and then you get it, it right you know it's not like so the middle one you have two two string okay and then this time just keep tighten it and then you just keep come out this hole. I might need to make a clean edge and clear the hole. <laughs> and so I might bring this down rather than bring that up and then tie it. it really tight. I'm gonna go one more time. And then I'll trim it off like really close. 
and then I'll put the glue on. See how I pulled it so tight and it curled up like that? So I'm going to see some of the string a little loose so I'm going to make sure that they all, the tension are all the same. Like this one, this one's still loose. And try to move my, um, my knot to the end here. This one, I think it's this one, right? No. This one is this one. Hmm. This one, which one is this? This one. There. And this one is too tight. There, and you got four string. This is a little loose, but um, you got four string that you can add, add your four insert in here. See how simple that is, right? So this, um, this is the back, this is the front, because you can see the stem going up. And uh, we got one cover done. See how easy that is. Um, I just like highly recommend to use too thick of the fabric because of um, you know this. You will have like the flexibility, and also you will have pocket and that will help strengthening the back the cover as well so I'm gonna put this on and um, adhere this with um, fabric tag I add quite a lot because it absorbed through the fabric so that um, you don't have much left to contact Here's my basket of <laughs> clap. I like to just like clamp the the four corner at least like inside you cannot clamp this down but at least you can clamp the rest of them. It will be like really nice for the pocket to stay and yeah and then there. Should we do another one and show you again how the... Okay, let's try together again. Let's say this is the front, right? So we want the knot to be at the bottom, right? So we go in from the top, from inside out, right? And then go up to the second hole come here go through the middle on the top and then go to the next hole and then come out from this hole. Now you're gonna squeeze into the center again. Like you're gonna need helper. Where's my helper? Here's my helper. Just use the pokey tool. So this is the top. All right, so we are come out from the center. I think might be too too long, but 
that's okay. I'll pull it back. And so I'm gonna go back. Oh, let's see how how tight. Yeah, pretty tight. You this is like um adjust as you go it's better so you don't waste your elastic too much. That's perfect. So go back to the center, my helper. I mean you can go with the bigger eyelid as well but like I said it doesn't look that nice. <laughs> it looks more tidy with a smaller one but you have to like manipulate a little bit of the elastic to go through. Use your helper, pokey tool helper. Now, this one, pull this one, and this one, pull this one. Yeah, okay. Now we go into this one. Last hole to pull through. See the back See, you go, you just have to at the bottom and back like stitches and then tie it up. Make sure we got everything nice and tight. This one a little loose, so we need some adjustment. Okay, now we can tie. So I hope everyone's doing well and <laughs> sorry just jump in and get it over with. <laughs> oh, I, it must be an accident uh, up here. Uh, it sent actually it really good. Um, we will get text saying that the outtash where the outtash is and uh, and tell you how long it's expecting to to be resolved and then when it's done they text you that has been resolved but a lot of ambulance and and fire truck went by the house and Darcy didn't <laughs> not happy at all <laughs> okay now we need to do the closure so simple right closure just make sure you got get a feeling for you that's why I don't measure I don't tell you how many centimeter that you need to cut you just feel like if you want to really fill up your your book and then you're you you're, you're expecting it expanding right so the I'm gonna see if I can go get both of them go through the same time. <laughs> Pushing my luck. Nope. <laughs> oh well, okay. One at a time is fine. And then I will show you how we cut and print um, the page to fill in. Okay, this one, the last one we did the closure first. This one we did the closure last, so it doesn't really matter which one first. So if we can get this step done, the next video we are going to do the folio. I mean, I'm not going to show you how to cover the cover because it's using the same cover and size. Um, I just need to prepare the page. So we come back and, and do the page and sewn in and add beads and all that kind of thing. Some bling, some bling. And Okay, I think you 
you should be able like you know you can go slow like stop and pause if you want to follow and if if I'm too confused for you how you thread through the elastic like so basically you want if you just want a two um, you know two two book to insert then you just do two hole simple right very simple just one cross here but if you just want three the middle book you just have to use two string that's all like this is so easy you can reuse these like so many times and um, you know it's keep removing it the inside and all that there so let's cut the page so what I did let's close all this glue because the <laughs> before they all dried out and get rid of my big tool we're done with it this video and I'll show you the print out so I print the cover all the cover I print on a cardstock it's 110 or 100 so I print the cover first and then I flip it put through and print the marble the marble will be a larger size than the cover so that when we cut we don't see the white edge um, the gap so and I did not set uh, these at, at A4 so if you are printing on A4 make sure you test print one page first don't print out the big amount because uh, sorry I, did, I don't have the A4 paper to test on so I just set everything at a little size and same as this I did not uh, test print on the regular print with border so I'm not sure how the cutting so print one and test out so I print this in full um, borderless because it's so easy to cut because you know when your printer is very um, hard to predict when you put in the back side sometimes you the paper got pulled in crooked and all that kind of thing so what um, let's cut the cover first I love my little uh, trimmer so Here come this corner. I think it's yeah, it's the the mid, medium one, uh, medium corner, rounding. I might need to trim a little bit off here. Let's see. I love this trimmer because you can get a teeny bit out at a time. Yeah, and only this one that you will need inking at the corner because it's supposed to be a rip um, rip edge that's why you get the white spot so if you just ink it you won't even see the white part and it look like um, you have a, a worn very worn you um, well used book cover 
yeah so that's you got completely cover then and my bone folder you got one cover done how simple is that right I know some of you may not like um, to cut and let me cut all of these and then we'll come back and show you the how to cut the insert I finished cutting the cover for insert and uh, I ink the edge oops this one didn't get ink very well <laughs> So because you get you see the white uh, spot, so it's nice if you can ink the edge. Um, you know, it's just so it look blending in with the you know the with the cover and stuff. So so next, um, when I print, I give like a blank one so you can print on any pattern paper and all that. And this one is it was back with the linen pattern so when you print out it, it will come out from your printer like this right um, head down and um, we call the align to this the top so when you flip to the printer you flip like that and then you put down this is Epson print equal print so your printer may be different if you order to set to print front and back borderless um, that might be easy too but test print first also, always print one page to see don't go crazy print out 100 pages <laughs> you know what I mean so because of the setting I set up it everything it's in half of letter size so the half of the letter size I think it was this five and a half I think let's see let's see the mark where would that be yep exactly five and a half so we're gonna cut the page at five and a half okay and then we do everything like that and then we will fold the cut in half and we're gonna trim it off at I think it's four and one quarter no that's exactly the oh I didn't do this sorry <laughs> I'm confusing you four I need to use it at four so we cut, we fold it, and then we mark it at four, and we cut, and then we will corner every page that we cut, and then you will get the page. See how, how that assembled? This is the appointment one. And I guess you can cut less because once it gets thicker and thicker, the page might stick out a little bit, right? So maybe cut at um, three and three quarter. Yeah. Let's do three and three quarter. Yeah, it still have room but not much, but it's enough. Yeah, let's do three and three quarter full folded page and then when you put it in you have room here once it get thicker thicker because you know how the page will stick out the, the front page will stick out more than the other so I'm gonna cut I print out five page each um, so five page print out front and back and when I cut in half I will get 10 of these so let's do just the I'm not gonna 
speed up or anything so you're gonna see all in in live action <laughs> I know it's it's get it can get confused right in how to fold how to cut to make it fit so five and a half cut basically it's half of letter size so it's four page in here so I'm gonna do two at a time not too thick I don't want my trimmer get angry with me so fold it in half again and then cut this folded is at three and three quarter okay and then round corner put it in it's not nice okay let's do this one and this really nice paper and you can save it and stamp the word here you can use it for stamping or you can sew it and make decoration as a stitch okay this is four pages I might I don't want to upset my trimmer I tend to force my machine a lot <laughs> I love this trimmer I had it bef way way before I start um, junk journaling because I make a card making as a card maker this is so perfect it tell you the size of each card okay this one I'm going in for three so when I fall it's six right it's gonna be mad oh, no mr. Timmy <laughs> you did good job Now you got the appointment. So you can go ahead and sew them in together, but I like them free because you can pull if you want to, then that way you can pull, add, or pull in, pull out, right? And um, yeah, so let's pick one of our cover. This one, I think. The glue is dry. I think it's dry. Yeah. So the appointment, we can put it in here. Perfect. Right? Now let's do the next one. We could do the note. Let's save the password at last for the day book. Oh, okay. day book. Since the page is already here. So I print out five pages. Again, cut in half, you get ten. And then ten back and front, you get. Um, 20 so fold it to size so you get 40 pages um, of working surface I cut five all in ones that's bad okay let's do two at a time again I'm sure when with the white border, but the, I don't know how um, it will look like. Oh, 
Oh, that close. Oh, that's so close. Whoops. Corner, corner. I just find it's nice with the round corner. I mean, you don't have to round corner everything, right? But I love it. I love it when it round. Three and three quarter. Whoops. See? It's a thing I didn't like it. Okay, let's take off one page. I think I ruined it. Let's see if I think I ruined it. I might have to tighten it up. Here. This is one page. Let's see. Let's see this one again. Going on the other end. Yes, not three. He's not happy. Two. Because when you got two, then you fold it, then it's four, right? That's why. Let's get too thick. And having a good tools and that and save your time too, right? I mean, I know I'm, I shouldn't, you know, enable you to buy tools, but if you are doing this kind of stuff, it really save your time. I have a lot of um, trimmer, like different type of trimmer. I have ro rotary cutter from Frisker, the big one, that it's acquire a lot of room to work. If I have a big project, cutting and trimming, I will use that one. And if I use cardboard or thicker paper, I'll use that one. And then I have my big 12 inches guillotine, um, the sister to this, for the bigger size paper and this is just tabletop <laughs> tabletop size okay let's add this same thing I'm not going to bind these because you can add many page later on or take out you know and then when you're done monthly or whatever you want to store them you can um, staple them or just keep them like this in an envelope and store them you know that would be oh I have to stop it in the middle because <sighs> internet sometime right you lost connection yeah see that's like f even just print five page you, you already got so much so five, so you, you got ten, ten of these together. So ten here, ten here, twenty. Twenty so time twos, forty page front and back. That make more sense, right? When I mentioned earlier, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> here, so we got the second insert. See how fast that is. Next, we're gonna do the notes. Same thing. I thought they're going for a walk. Hmm. Maybe not yet. I'm 
forcing him again to sorry this is gonna be a long video but I think I think that's okay with you guys right because you don't want me to see you don't want to see me fast forward on everything because I want uh, you know when you see a tutorial you want to see a, a detailed tutorial right and if you have any questions just leave me um, a comment I know I'm slow getting back with comment and stuff and <laughs> I'm, I'm being so bad with admin admin work <laughs> I can do like this all day long but to help me to to write to socialize <laughs> This is um, I print on uh, 24 pounds um, hammer mill paper. I think this is hammer mill. Yeah. No, hammer mills 20. Um, Office Depot. Uh, 24 pounds. I don't know what the GSM would be. You can Google and say what's the equivalent of 24 pounds to GSM. I wish we used the same measurement. Because we're not confused enough. guard well today mm. but he was so worried about the fire truck and the ambulance he's kind of like running lost in the house finally go under the chair just not certain what the noise is right he's just never seen where it come from last one password Okay, let's not force this one.
Okay, I think, oops, don't collapse, <laughs> don't collapse. Yeah, all this fabric that I made the cover with the, from like a vintage fabric from eBay that I bid on. <laughs> Crazy, right? <sighs> I want to go back to the thrift store. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like and um, I will make an envelope to go in here but you don't need to see that because you've seen so many times right <laughs> accordion or, or fold just collage and and that or you can add whatever you want to the cover right your own style like you know that Tim Hall thing the slot of Tim Hall yeah I might do that as well we'll see we'll see what I made with with and um, yeah so that's the handbook I hope you you um, like it and you know if you want to use the same paper just go to my shop and it's called the, the handbook project the DIY project whatever I call it I just can't remember by <laughs> right now um, yeah so and you can fill it with um, recycled paper, envelope, you know, like junk mail, whatever in here as well. It doesn't have to be my kit. I just want to show you how I use my kit and then you can use your own idea. Like this month, it's the month of idea sharing. So share with me if you see something that I make in here and if you think you can expand to a different idea, feel free to share. And um, I will continue to make 10 of these and um, I'm gonna fill in my shop for you know Christmas shopping if you're looking for a Christmas gift for somebody this would be a wonderful you know this <laughs> look. look yeah so and we will see you in the next video and that one we are going to make the ephemera fold I mean label folder this one yeah and we will do the beading we will we won't do the cover but we will do the page I'll show you how we how I did my page and using book old book page and you know nice book page I like it it's more uh, I love the the look of the book page so we are going to do this one okay we'll see you in the next video thank you so much for coming and such a bummer in the first video I say so much but now I can't remember but I think it's good thorough um, step by step and if you want exact measurement just leave the comment if you can catch the measurement the numbers and stuff like that and I'm happy to answer that and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!